Hello Rams, I'm your Tuesday night sports anchor Tim McCall. CSU women's volleyball heads into this week as one of only three teams in the Mountain West Conference that is still undefeated in conference play. The Rams conference winning streak was extended to 27 straight contests last week with a home win over Utah State. CSU will look to keep that streak alive as they head west this week to take on Mountain West foes New Mexico on Thursday and UNLV on Saturday. UNLV is one of the other Mountain West teams that is undefeated in conference play, and they currently sit atop the Mountain West Conference with a 15-1 overall record. The Rams want to if the Rams want to dethrone UNLV from atop the Mountain West, they will need a big performance from their star, junior Sonia Sismic. Sismic leads the Rams with almost three and a half kills per set, and has had 10 games this season, which she has had at least 10 kills. With Sismic heating up at the right time, CSU will give UNLV all it can handle on Saturday. Make sure to follow CSU Women's Volleyball in the Collegian this week to find out if your Rams come out on top in their biggest match of the year thus far. CSU Men's Cross Country is off to another strong start this season. Earlier today, it was announced that CSU redshirt junior Gerald Mock earned his second consecutive Mountain West Cross Country Men's Athlete of the Week award. On Saturday at the Washington Invitational, Mock clocked a time of 23 minutes and 25 seconds during the 8K race, a time that was 90 seconds better than the 8K Mock ran the week before at the Roy Griak Invitational. By finishing ahead of multiple All-Americans, Mock led the Rams to a second place finish at the Washington Invitational. Mock and the rest of the CSU men's cross country team will have this weekend off to rest up before they head to the Nuttycomb Wisconsin Invitational next week. Be sure to read the Collegian next week and find out if Gerald Mock can bring home the Mountain West Cross Country Men's Athlete of the Week Award for a third straight time. In CSU football news, the Rams look to bounce back from a tough border war loss during this weekend's homecoming matchup. CSU will host a Utah State Aggies team that enters the matchup at 2-3, and three, just like the Rams. Uh, while the winner of this matchup will improve to 500 on the season, the loser will move into last place in the Mountain Division. Another loss at this point of the season could mark a season of failure in the eyes of many fans. As both teams fight for respect in the Mountain West Conference, expect a scrappy game on both sides of the ball as both teams will be desperate for the win. The Rams defense that was so badly burned against Wyoming will look to rebound against a Utah State offense that ranks second to last in the Mountain West. The Rams offense on the other hand will be tested against the defense that is ranked second in the Mountain West and 30th nationally, allowing only 346 yards per game. The Utah State Aggies have played in five consecutive bowl games and even in a down year appear to be a formidable opponent. Don't miss the last homecoming game in Hughes Stadium history this Saturday at 8 p.m. That's all we have for sports. Next up is Nicole Hines with all the latest in entertainment.